I now am proud to bring you a true gift for the holiday season. Socket.io, how the Socket.io library save real time bi-directional communication between clients and servers. This was the final presentation for the semester at GT Web Dev. So let's get right into it. When it comes to the internet, it's only fate that there are thousands of ways to communicate. Sit back, relax, as I tell you a tale of one of those ways that shall surely prevail. Let me tell you a story of Socket.io. It began with a server not too long ago. There once was a server, proud and with jest, responding to clients to every request. He'd respond to network clients and those over Wi-Fi. He even had his own RESTful API. But no matter how often he handled requests, there was still one problem that made him depressed. For each response he sent felt like a son, but then he lost contact and that was no fun. If only there were some way my sons could write back, he pondered to himself, then I'd be on track. But the response only went through the API's discretion, and the only hint of his sons was a cookie for session. It would be oh so cool, updates I could send, without them having to ask, oh there would be no end, but alas, at the moment, this cannot be done. I must wait for the request of my disconnected son. So for the server, nothing was fine. Until a change happened in 2009. Google Chrome came along, adding to its dockets a brand new cool standard. Its name was WebSockets. The sockets were new. And oh, so defiant, it allowed you to push info straight to the client. It's perfect, exclaimed our server with glee. A two-way connection between clients and me. And as time progressed, other browsers filed suit, making the server-client problem near close to moot. Firefox, Safari, Edge Opera adopted. It seemed every browser WebSockets co-opted. Yes, every browser in Browserville loved WebSockets a lot, but Internet Explorer, who lived just north of Browserville, did not. IE hated Sockets and wished they would die. Don't ask me the reason. I don't know why. It could be its developers were just unaware. It could be that Microsoft just didn't care. This in turn made our server quite sad, for his sons on IE wouldn't see him as dad. Then in stepped a framework making WebSockets easy, with fallback support for those browsers like Yeezy. Its name was Sockets with an IO at the end, because of course, among startups, that's the popular trend. Since IE was unmoving, refused to support but Sockets was unmoving and wouldn't abort. When programmers use Socket.io's connect function and IE objects with its typical unction, instead of using WebSocket's two-way connection, using HTT pollings close enough to perfection. So whenever IE loads up a new script, constant requests are periodically shipped with this, all browsers are compatible, even the ones that are completely fanatical. And with that, IE realized, no matter the weather, the true spirit of Sockets is bringing family together. So remember, this holiday season, make sure that you allow two-way connection polling through something like WebSockets and our hero, Socket.io. Happy holidays, everyone.